Hey, so today I'm going to be showing you my new plugin which is called Infinite Terrain. First we create a material, then we turn Generate Terrain on. Now I'm going to change the material to grass. By adding a seed, we can add noise to our terrain. Now let's create a more complex material list. I'm going to set mud to only appear up to the height of negative 8 and sand to the height of 8 and I want grass and ground to start at the height of 8 and I'm also going to set mud to only appear between a slope value of 0 and 3. The order of the materials is also very important as it determines the priority. I'm also going to add leafy grass to appear at the flat areas of grass. This value adjusts the magnitude of the noise. And this value adjusts the scale of the noise. This value allows you to clamp the top of the noise and this one allows you to clamp the bottom of the noise. If we play the game now, we will notice that the terrain is not infinite in size. In 
In order to make the terrain infinite in size, we must generate the terrain on the client side. To do this, we first need to create the local script. Now we need to save the terrain data into the local script. Now let's turn generate terrain off and clear the terrain. Now we can see from the perspective of the server there is no terrain. And now each client will generate the exact same terrain for an infinite distance. To edit the terrain, click on the edit button and click anywhere on the terrain to increase its height. By holding the shift key you can decrease the height. And by holding the control key you can flatten the terrain. And by holding the alt key you can smooth the terrain. You can also press the Ctrl and Alt key together to erase the height data. You can hold the Shift key and scroll your mouse wheel to adjust the brush strength. And hold the Ctrl key and the mouse wheel to adjust the brush size. Here you will see that the client is not loading the height data. We must save the height data inside of the local script. We must also save the material data into the local script.
Here I'm going to be showing you how to make a cave. I'm going to paint the air material to make a hole. It's also possible to use Roblox's built-in terrain editor alongside the plugin. Instead of using the clear all terrain, we're going to be using the clear terrain button. The clear terrain button only clears the parts of the terrain that was generated by the plugin. There are some limitations of the clear terrain button. For instance, if I press Ctrl Z after I have cleared the terrain, the plugin will no longer be aware of the terrain that's inside of your project. To fix this, you can regenerate the terrain with the same seeds and height data in order to overwrite the terrain that's currently in the project.
If you don't use the same seed and height data, then the terrain that is generated will not overwrite the terrain that's in the project. Here I'm going to be loading the original seeds in order to overwrite the terrain correctly. 